okay queens and kings so for this little the canister um all we're gonna need is one of those uh, which i got this from marshall's a while back that i hauled this for you um and i showed you guys my continuous blue um gleam my continuing bling rope and, and i'm gonna use um totally dazzle um brooch some wire cutters and my trusted gorilla glue so first i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the backing off this brooch and which is very easy to do all you're doing is really just pinching it and it's gonna just lift off like that because i did one side so i was like i guess i show because i'm quite sure someone's gonna ask me how i remove it start from the top and work my way downward um basically where i started at i'm gonna try my best to finish in that same um area so if i start to the top back i'm trying to finish to the bottom back so we're gonna do like we did with everything else we're just gonna get our glue you guys know i love this glue place it down squeeze some out you don't need too much because a little go, goes a long way. So I'm going to put that down. That, that, that. And I'm just putting some enough so therefore I don't have to keep putting it or whatever. And we're going to take our bling and you're just going to wrap it on there. So, I'm just going to continue wrapping it on around, trying to make sure that it stays as close as possible. Okay, now that I am finished, this is how it look. Take that off. This is how it look. Um, so like I said, where I started from the front, um, where I started from the top back, I wanted to finish at the bottom back. So therefore, when I put it up, this will go against whatever it's gonna be on. So you won't see that part. So this is how I look, and I'm liking that. But I think I want to do the top as well. What do you guys think? Because now that I'm thinking, it looks so gorgeous. I should have just go do the whole bottle. But i do that some other time. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead with my Totally Dazzle little cute little buckle here. And I'm going to place that in the front here. So that's gonna be like that, cute, or like that. I think I like it like that. Yeah, cause it bring it down some. Like all the details would've been up there, but I think I'm liking it like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're going to leave it laying down like this, put it to the side, laying down like this. Because if you lift it up, it's going to eventually start to slide down. It have not got tacky yet for it can stay. So, therefore, I'm going to leave it like that because I want it to stay exactly input and dry. So what I'm going to do now is take my bling and we're going to decorate the top. That's what we're going to do. So it's all about trying to get to make the the middle part of this which I don't think I'm gonna be able to do so what I'm doing I'm just by get of some bling and put it in the middle of that and I'm just gonna go around it
So the trick is with this to try to keep it on its back to not let it flip over. And by I don't have nothing in the middle of this where I made this circle at, it's flipping because it don't have nothing to push against. So we're just gonna have to take this very slow. Can't go as fast as I did with the, the rim. Okay, so this side is looking, and we're just going to continue going around until you fill up all of that. But we're going to stop right there. We're going to stop at the, the rim here. So now, I'm going to take my wire cutters, and I'm going to just cut. I'm going to cut the rest of that off. So this is how I look. So it's very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. And like I said, in the top there, I'm going to place a uh, bling right there. Just a little diamond or whatever add to the top. And I will show you guys the okay, finish. Queens and kings. So this is how it turned out. I have to say that I love it. Like I have to say that I love anything that I create or recreate or update or revamp all of that so this is how i styled it but as you can see i did change the little brooch there but this also came from totally dazzle the bling around it i put that because it actually matched the bling up there that's around the neck part and the top of the um canister so i really do love this and i did place a bling directly in the top like i said that i was going to place a bling So it turned out very cute and really cute just a little update to a plain bottle so i hope you guys liked it, this video it wasn't too much i hope it wasn't for you guys it was a repetitive type thing so there was a no need for to put too much details in it but it was time consuming definitely the top so if i don't want to use that top i can also switch it out and play something like that so I still have my bling effect so you guys know I love it okay Queens and Kings so if you like this video please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you are new as well as like and share and I will see you Queens and Kings in the next video bye